Yo, what's up guys? It is MTG Galaxy here bringing you a brand new video. And today this video is going to be a deck tech. It is a modern deck tech. It's a mono white budget humans. Now, a couple words before we begin. By budget modern deck, I do not mean $25. This deck is going to be about $100. But it can win games and it can do very well in it. Second, this deck tech is based off of a green white humans deck Marin MTG built. It's a very similar deck, the main premise was based off of hers, and I'm going to link her deck in the description. Be sure to go check out the video, it's a great video, as well as if you want to see some gameplay of it, you can go check it out there. So, what is the premise of this deck? It's to jam the board with one drops and pound your head into the table until your opponent dies. That's kind of understated, but that's pretty much what it is. We have a ton of one drops in this deck. We have four Boros Elite, four Champion of the Parish, four Dauntless Bodyguard, three Kithian Hero of Akros, four Mardu War Reaper, and four Soldier of the Pantheon. This is an insane amount of one drops, especially for a modern deck. The Boros Elite is a complete star here, it's an overperformer, just go ahead and watch it in the deck in Marin's video. The Champion of the Parish is probably one of the best cards in the deck. If you don't know what it is, it is a 1 mana for a 1-1 one, one human, and whenever another human enters the battlefield, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. So you can see why that would be really good in one of these kinds of decks, especially since we're jamming it pack full of 1 drops. Now. Next, we have a, a few two drops. We have two Imposing Sovereign, two Near Heath Pilgrim, two Thalia Garden of Thraben, and four Thalia's Lieutenant. Thalia's Lieutenant is a complete star in this deck. It is one of the cards that makes this deck actually work together. Being, if you don't know what it is, a, it's two mana for a 1 1 human soldier. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other human you control. And whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Thalia's lieutenant. This is actually insane. This is basically a lord, but the counters stay even after the lieutenant dies. It is a very, very good card in this deck. Now, the imposing sovereign you may be curious about, and I included this only over the one mana enchantment in Kaladesh that was in Kaladesh, because this is a human, and when it enters the battlefield, It'll trigger our Thalia's Lieutenant, as well as it'll trigger our Champion of the Parish. So that was behind that decision. So, those are all those creatures in this deck. We do have 8 non-creature spells though. We have a playset of Brave the Elements and a playset of Honor of the Pure. So, the Honor of the Pure is a basically a replacement lord for the Mayor of Averbrook. Honor of the Pure is a 2 mana white enchantment that gives all your white creatures plus 1 plus 1. Obviously, all the creatures in this deck are white, so that is really solid there, especially in duplicates. And then, the four Brave the Elements are actu actually insane. They are the protection card- they are the protection that this deck needs to actually be able to push through some heavy creature decks, like Mono Red Swarm, Mono Red Goblins. Just put one of these out naming red, and all of your white creatures, aka all of your board, gets protection from red and can smash through hopefully for the win. Now the mana base, this is the most expensive part of the deck obviously because it's modern, we need fetches and shocks, ha, nope, gotcha there. We only need 17 planes for the deck. Some people run less, some people run more, I find about 17 is about right, especially since our curve is somewhere around 1.3-ish. I mean that might be a little low but we are running only one drops and two drops so that is about right for this. Now the sideboard as always is going to be dependent for your local meta, but I have thrown out a few suggestions for you. Celestial Purge for any black red shenanigans, Damping Sphere for any Tron or Storm. Also you can finish the playset of Thalia, Guardian of Thaben if you want for the Storm Bull. And we have Stony Silence for any artifact shenanigans as well as Kataki's War Wage. For Graveyard Shenanigans, we have Graft Digger's Cage, Rest in Peace, and Tormod's Crypt. And we have Leyline of Sanctity, in case you feel like not getting targeted this game for free, if it's in your opening hand. So, that is about it for this deck tech, guys. I will leave the link to this deck in the description. This is a very solid deck. I will also leave the link to Marin FTG's, um channel and her video in the description. And as always, this video is brought to you by you, the subscriber. 
Be sure to subscribe to MTG Galaxy YouTube channel for all the content on the Guilds of Ravnica spoilers coming out soon, as well as deck techs, gameplay, and vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. My Twitter is MTG Galaxy TOS, my Twitch is MTG, MTG Galaxy, and we'll see you guys all in the next video.